Hello, my name is Winston and I am a Christian and I have been watching Why I Left Islam videos from ex-Muslims on YouTube. And I have compiled things that Muslims believe that aren't true. Let's get right into the material. And I'm gonna start with um, two books that you should um, check out. Number one is Seeking Allah and Finding Jesus. It is a book of an ex-Muslim coming out of uh, the Islamic faith and coming to Christianity. And everything you need to know is in the description box below. And also, Understanding Jihad is another book that um, disproves um, Muslim beliefs and so on and so forth. And so, uh, one thing that the author of these books said is like, hey, if you're ever going to talk to a Muslim to come into the faith and believe in Jesus, don't talk about Muhammad, don't talk about the Quran, and don't um, talk about, um, in short, he said, focus on the resurrection of Jesus. And this is even what the gospel says, all I know is Christ crucified. Jesus died for your sins, he has died for my sins, and in him I have eternal life. I have eternal salvation, I have joy, I have peace, I have faith, I don't have to worry about jinn, I don't have to worry about hell or fear or any of that bad stuff because I put my trust in Jesus that I'm saved by grace through faith for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. There is only one name under heaven and on earth in which man could be saved, the man Christ Jesus. And if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you confess that with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you are saved. So that's what you have to do. Read the Bible, follow Jesus and receive the Holy Spirit uh, with the baptism of faith, all right? So 28 um, different false points of the Quran, Islam, and Muhammad. Number one, you have to walk into a washroom, a bathroom with your left. Um, otherwise, uh, Allah will be upset. You cannot eat with your left hand, but you can't use the bathroom with your right hand. Um, they believe that the Quran says that Jesus did not die on the cross. Here's a Bible verse that says he died on the cross. All right. Anyone reading anything about Muhammad was 150 years after his death. Right. And so they say that the Bible, the Torah are not good materials. They have been perverted. They have been corrupted. They have been changed. But their own writings didn't take place until everyone that happened to be able to have an eyewitness account of Muhammad has already died. So inconsistent. So Islam says that if you leave Islam, you should be killed and you will go to hell. All right. So it also says that Jews and Christians are a holy people in the first half of the Quran. And they should have no fear of anything crazy or bad happening. But in the second half of the Quran, it says that, hey, um, these people are destined to hell. So even in the Quran, there are inconsistencies, so you can't trust it. Muslims do not believe that you have direct access to God, but only through prophets by angels and dreams. I forgot um, what a Muslim pastor is called. So in short, you have to go through them to hear from God. But here's a Bible verse that says you have direct access to God that you need. There is no mediator between God and man. You can pray directly to him. And so since y'all do receive in dreams, um, this is my prayer that Jesus will reveal his great love to you in a dream that you are loved by God and that you receive of his Holy Spirit and convert out of Islam. All right. People like to say Islam is not a violent religion, but it says to enslave the infidel wherever you find them in the Quran, um, chapter five, verse nine. Again, I'm not familiar with the Quran. I know y'all have books, um, but if you Google it, y'all know what it is. It's um, something five, verse nine um, says this. Um, it also says in the Quran, Allah has bought your life for this that you may slay and be slain, right? So um, this is chapter nine, verse 40. I don't know how the Quran is set up. Um, says that he has bought your life that you will slay and be slain. So you say, hey, um, Islam, Muhammad, the Quran is not a violent 
um, book, but they're right there in your scriptures. It says you are supposed to live and die by the sword. Um, it says, oh, imam. So the Muslim pastors call it imams. Through the imams, their leaders, instead of reading the Quran. So it says that you need to trust your imams instead of reading um, the Quran and stuff like that. Um, but the Bible says that we have to study to show ourselves approved, rightly dividing the word of truth, a workman that need not to be ashamed. Why would you be ashamed? Because you know that you're justified in your salvation through the Lord Jesus and you don't have to be afraid of hell, death, gin, and um, all that bad stuff. All right. The, so um, this is what it says. It says the Quran was compiled not by Muhammad's successors, but by the third um, successors. And they disagree on the book of Hadid, the book of tradition of Muhammad, volume six, book 61, verse 50. And they burn all the original manuscripts of evidence. But Muhammad's handpicked four men to compile the Quran, right? Four teachers of the Quran. And they disagree on book 61. Um, I don't know the rest of this. Um, they don't agree on the modern Quran. So in that section of the Quran, they disagree on chapters three, chapters 161, and um, chapter 114 in it. So even the uh, even Muhammad's successors don't agree on this. So that's crazy <laughs> that you believe in a manuscript that his people that he handpicked don't even agree on. Muslims are taught that God loves everyone unconditionally, but Allah loves certain people and hates others like the infidels. Um, again, all right. Um, another thing that the Quran says, it says in the Quran that God is not a father and not a son. Um, it's in the first uh, Sida, S-E-D-A-H. All right. So uh, we have a Bible scripture here that um, God is a father <laughs> and he loves you. So if you ever want a father that will love you, and even if your own father um, hasn't loved you properly, know that God the father will never leave you or forsake you. All right. Know what Islam teaches and what um, the Quran teaches is that grace in Islam is based on your good deeds. It's based off of the more good you do or in the opposite, not as much grace, the more bad things that you do. It is a performance-based faith. But know that Allah might actually overlook some of the bad things you do and multiply your good deeds if he wants to. So depending on how flippant or the emotional state of Allah, you can go to hell or you go to heaven or a paradise. That's pretty, <laughs> that's pretty scary, right? But when it comes to salvation in the Christian um, faith, it says that we are saved by grace, the finished work of Christ Jesus, um, dying for our sins and resurrecting from the dead um, through faith, believing in his finished work, that we have eternal life, we have eternal salvation. All right, um, very interesting point of one of Muhammad's successors said, um, so when it comes to security and salvation, there is no real security or salvation in Islam because even one of Muhammad's successors said, even if I have one foot in heaven, I will be afraid of the deception of Allah. If he wants to forgive you, um, he does. But if he doesn't want to forgive you, he doesn't. Even one of Muhammad's successors says Allah does whatever he wants, right? So this is very interesting. It says that Allah, the deception of Allah is a thing in the Quran, in um, the Islamic faith, and the Muslims believe this, right? But it says, God's not a man that he should lie, near is he the son of man that he should repent, right? If he um, does it, says a thing, he is faithful to perform it. And so he says like, hey, if Jesus' name literally means God saves and God is able to save, and he's like, hey, anyone that believes on the Lord Jesus and confess with your mouth, Jesus is the Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Anybody that calls on the name of the Lord, um, Jesus shall be saved. There's only one name under heaven and earth that man should be saved. It's the name Christ Jesus. So it says right there, there is no evil. There is no wickedness. There is no lying in God, but 
through Islam, through the Quran, through Muhammad, it says there is deception in Allah. Hmm. Why are you following a faith where your own God can deceive you and send you to hell? There's no security in that. And the last thing that the Quran says is just not true. They said uh, Muhammad is the first messenger. And uh, in short, you have the prophet, right? There is no mention of Muhammad in the Torah, in the Bible, any um, Christian material, right? So those are the different reasons and false beliefs of Islam. And when I say I have such compassion and like love for Muslims now, I'm not going to lie, um, because of this video and hearing all these stories and all this research from um, seeking Allah, finding Jesus, and also um, just watching all this, why I left Islam and why I left, uh, why, I'm, why I converted from why I converted to Christianity videos. So if you are in the Muslim faith, um, again, focus on the Bible, focus on the resurrection of Jesus. Jesus matters um, and you can be saved, right? And so don't be afraid what man can do to you, but um, trust that God is with you. That is the name of um, God, Emmanuel, God with us, right? So you could trust in that. So um, make sure to like this video and check out more of our Bible studies at theblessingreport.com and also the description box below in the link in the bio. And uh, we are covering more false religions, uh, false cults. And so check out this next video where we are covering the one book of the Bible that Muslims will not read. And we are also covering why people leave Catholicism because they do not follow Jesus in their teachings. Thanks for watching.